so apologies if the quality is not as good as doing this on my phone but yeah last uh, main run before the half now so i think we'll do 15 16k uh, somewhere around that region but yeah excited uh, and then we can taper off towards next week so our food's gonna be increasing so that'll be good uh, so put the work in now and then you know we'll we'll get the reward so see you there so what's good everyone just finished off the 15k last sort of big run before the um the half next week so we are a week out and um, we're gonna taper off towards the the back end of the week we're still gonna be going boxing monday potentially wednesday uh, i've got footy thursday as well but that'll be it for the running we're not going to be incorporating no three and five k's throughout the week so it's going to be a bit hard for me to get used to because at the minute i'm really enjoying training so you know it's hard for me not to train but yeah um that's going to be what we're looking forward to this week um and then obviously we're just going to smash it i will pop on the screen probably somewhere earlier the actual time but it was 50 mile in 110 so not bad going i think it was 440 on average which if we can keep that up for the whole way and obviously you know adrenaline kicks in on the day we'll push through um any limitations and we'll we'll get there we'll hopefully get 130 but we'll see we'll see I'm, I'm expecting 135 to 140 so that's where i want to be at anyway uh, which is an improvement on the last one 144. Hello everyone, just about to get a nice massage uh, on the leg sports massage before the run Sunday, so it's Friday today, um, meaning two days away, so literally gonna just not rest as in do nothing, but you know, a bit of bike ride and stuff like that, stuff something, keep the legs going, but simple stuff, you know, not pushing it, and, and yeah, get, get a lot of nice food in, so we enjoyed a little Mackie's Becky today, which we haven't had in a while, um, so that was good. And yeah, busy day to be fair, so you know, I'll probably dip in and out if I can. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna get ready for the race and just what we've been training, preparing for. So, you know, can't wait to just get there and, and do it. But you know, we've got to fall in love with the journey, and this is part of the journey the, the calm before the storm. So, I don't know if you can see that red spot on well, that red patch on my head, just on my hands, on my head for about two minutes and I don't know what's happened there. <sighs> can't be the monster, can you? So we're about to get zen and chill out. Uh, just here now. I don't know where to go for a walk after it because it's raining so I might end up going to the gym instead. Hopefully it's not busy because I'm off today so I can go at a decent time. But yeah, um just gonna get this massage now and then we will pick up the gym probably. Uh can't see the cloud clearing up so probably go to the gym, get a session done get some work done just get everything done it's a time to be productive let's get it done get it done people so i'm about to get my legs done so i want to be so i don't know what's happened there because it's absolutely lashing it down so no chance for me going for a walk or a bike ride so it is going to be a gym sesh but feeling good uh got a few marks on them the legs off the cupping so i'll probably show you that um, when I get in, but about to eat absolute unreal pasta. Like, right. look at that salt and pepper chicken pasta, but it's just different, so nice. Um, and it's good, healthy food. No oh, peppers, can't go wrong with peppers. Come on, people. But yeah, um, gonna get that it and then go for a gym session and then get some more work done. So, I'll 
probably should use in the gym. So as you can see, we've got the goodies for tomorrow. We're going to be having them now actually. Um, We've already seen them. Protein puddings. Four rice cakes as well for the day of the run. Come on. Garlic bread, of course. Oh, my favourite. Cheesecake. And it's gotta be the lemon cheesecake because it's lemon, it's just nice, isn't it? It's chocolates too, you know. Obviously we've got the monster. Um we're gonna have these and we're probably gonna have one of these now as well. Bananas, no, keeping them good carbs in, get that potassium going. And then we've got the pizzas as well. Good job that went the uh, yogurt falling. Gonna have that with just normal chicken. Uh, no, my little special chicken kebab as I make. And then, yeah, got the M&M's as well, just to snack on throughout the weekend. So, I was gonna initially sort of just get the um, Domino's like selection box and stuff, but I thought, you know what, for half the price, I could probably buy a load of stuff that you know, I know I'm going to enjoy and it'll last me the full weekend rather than just the one meal. So that's what we've went for. So you know, I'll keep you updated on how I'm getting on, but I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it because you know, who doesn't love a good food? I love a good food. Who doesn't love food or good food? Yeah. So yeah, just going to make these chicken tempers now and then scram them. So I'll see you tomorrow when I'm getting fat. So. Peace. Oof, get these in my belly, listen to the sizzle on them. These are gonna go down on a treat. Also, get on my new uh, little Philips lights here. I just stuck them behind the monitors for now, but they look cool when the, the lights out. Ooh, how nice is that? Sometimes it's just nice to just chill in the dark and just have a little ambiance lighting, you know what I mean? But yeah, I, do you know what? I don't have a clue why I have a fork, you know, because I've got no intentions of using that fork, let me tell you. Also, having the uh, Pink Vinto Remix, but you've got the water filtration on the tap now. I've got one in the fridge. I'll get out that light. I've got one in the fridge, but I don't know if it's good or not, so I thought, why not just buy a new one? So, that's what we did. We bought a new one, and as my little brother says, it tastes smooth going down your throat. <laughs> that was what I said. I said, Does it like it? And he went, Yeah, it's dead smooth going down your throat. I just started laughing at him, but yeah, um, just gonna read this now, get some college work done and that, and then probably hit the snooze, try and get up early because we're gonna be getting up early on Sunday, so we're just imitating our sleeping pattern as we, as we should. So, yeah, this is probably me out for today. I'll see you tomorrow, which is Saturday, which is fat eating day. So, the day before the half marathon, the calm before the storm, so what we are doing today is carving up a lot, so I'm going to be filming on my Instagram a full day of eating. Um, what we're having now, just starting nice and simple, just a cereal. Um, 
I'm gonna go for a walk, get the man right. Uh, I think I'm gonna do just a bike ride as well today to just keep the legs full of blood. Um, but yeah, this is probably gonna be it for this video. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna capture the rest in the half marathon. So, you know, as we always say, let's keep breaking them boundaries. You know, that's what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow. I'm gonna be smashing my time. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for the half marathons for now. We're going to be looking to uh, get a PB on the 3 and 5 Ks, so that'll be our next goal, I imagine. But also, obviously, the boxing side of things coming on now, so, you know, who knows where we'll end up. I know, obviously, I know, but, you know, we're going to keep you, it's a, a secret, should I say, for you. So, yeah, let's keep breaking them boundaries and keep setting goals to get to where we want to be people and get out there and do it day day by day uh, one step at a time so peace out